Hey there everybody, Don Evans here from WatchReport.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Domar Ensign prototype. Now there's a lot of info I want to get out here um, and I don't want to make a ridiculously long video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to direct you to the link in the description below. That will take you to WatchReport.com and what I have there is um, background info about Tony Villa who owns domar watches and uh, is going to be bringing this to kickstarter as a matter of fact he will be bringing his live to kickstarter today and there'll be a link in the description below as well i will also have all the full specifications and about 17 photos including a loom shot now one of the things i don't do myself often is um, give you previews of watches that are going on to kickstarter basic reason for that is there's a lot of crap on kickstarter and uh, a lot of the watches I don't even think uh, get funded and some of them shouldn't be funded in my opinion. This one should be. Now, uh, I normally never like to say you should buy this watch and I'm not going to, but I'm going to strongly suggest that you do take a look at the Kickstarter campaign, especially if you like dive watches and you want a budget dive watch. Let's give you the size and the specifications here. You have a 42 millimeter case, a sapphire crystal, a Seiko 4R36 automatic movement, solid H-link bracelet. You are looking at a lug to lug of 46 millimeters and a lug width of 22 millimeters and the bracelet does start to taper to 20 millimeters. You have applied markers. As you can see here, you have the day and date. I'll uh, show you that a little more up close here. This is the blue sunray dial with the blue bezel version. Uh, there are other variations and colors, um, so you're going to want to check that out on the Kickstarter campaign. I don't remember offhand what Tony um, decided uh, to veto or what he's going forward with. Price on this is $185, uh, give or take. I'm doing a conversion uh, from British pounds. That is where Tony is out of. Now, the watch is being manufactured in China, in Hong Kong. Tony is out of Blackpool, England. And as I said, I have more info on watchreport.com, uh, giving you a little bit of background info about Tony. So now, first things first, this is a prototype. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, you are going to see scratches and marks on this. This was specifically sent to me by another blogger as well. So you're going to see marks on it. There's a look at the domed sapphire crystal. Now, that's not a huge dome. When I put it like this and you see the profile, it's not a huge dome. But it is a slight dome. Um, and I think I forgot to say it, but it is 14 millimeters thick and right to the middle of the dome. So you have that blue sunray patterned dial. You have your applied markers, which is a nice touch at this price point. Combination of brushed and polished finishes. You have satin brushed on the top of the case and the bracelet. And then you're going to high polish here for the bezel and the sides of the case. Now, two of the changes that I know will be done from this prototype to production. One, you will have a nicer, sturdier two-piece clasp. As you can see right now, it is just more of the stamped style clasp. And you will also have solid end links. It currently, the prototype here has uh, folded or hollow end links. So those are two of the things that will be upgraded in production. Otherwise, I believe it is pretty close to what you are getting. Now, when it comes to style and design, uh, you know, I've seen some people saying that it is a Seiko Turtle ripoff. Well, um, or specifically a, a, a you know a Seiko 6309 ripoff or more current uh, reissue of the Seiko Turtle. Um, I say to that, you need to get your eyes checked and really go pay attention uh, to the reissue especially. Um, that is a much more rounded case with much more softer round lines. As you can see, this has edges and, you know, a s square style to it. Um, you know, more of an aqua dive, really, if you, if you want to go um, and compare it. Now, Tony has been very upfront about this. Um, and if you're a member of a couple of different watch forums, uh, you might have seen Tony discussing uh, this watch project on there. 
he took a you know a bunch of designs and styles that he liked and he kind of combined them all into one the case is not catalog it, it, it is not off the shelf it was you know custom made for tony for this domar ensign and uh yeah it has elements of vintage divers it has elements of you know you, you might see something out there very similar or somewhat similar in the market right now um but it, it's not a direct copy of anything i'm not saying you won't find something similar but it's not a direct copy basically to me the biggest selling point first of all i like the watch i like the look of the watch i like the size of the watch um has a nice weight at 170 grams not too heavy not you know lightweight at all i like the way it feels on my wrist i will show it to you here in a minute on my seven and a half inch wrist under two hundred dollars is uh, almost a no-brainer if you are part of the watch buying public if you are into the independent and micro brands if you just want a budget watch with uh, excellent materials here 185 dollars uh, most of the times buys you a mineral crystal and a quartz movement all right you're getting automatic movement in sapphire crystal here and a solid bracelet so to me no brainer again um uh you know i'm never gonna push you uh to go take a look at anybody's watch but i will say i strongly suggest especially if you like the look and uh, you want a nice diver for a very affordable price point so let me show it to you on the wrist and then we'll get this video wrapped up and then uh you know if you choose to you can go take a look at the kickstarter or uh, go take a look at more reviews on watchreport.com or check us out on our social media you might want to go and follow us there or subscribe to us on youtube if you came by this video uh any other way and uh, then you'll never miss another video review all right the cheap plugs are done here is a look on my seven and a half inch wrist with this 46 millimeter lug to lug this is going to be a great size for many now obviously if you like big watches probably not but if you are okay with a 42 by 46 millimeter case, I think you're going to love this. I know there's a lot of guys out there with small wrists. I see it in the comments a lot when I do reviews on big watches that are like, oh, I wish it was smaller. Well, here's your chance at a very, very, very affordable price point. So there's your look at the Domar Ensign prototype. And I apologize if... Um, you know, I mispronounced that at any point during this video. Um, keep in mind, to the best of my knowledge, both of those names are made-up names uh, that Tony made up. Um, but Domar Ensign is the correct pronunciation, as Tony told me. There's a look at the prototype. If you want to check out the Kickstarter, go to the link in the description below. Check out the link to watchreport.com if you want to read a little bit more and you want to see some photos of this watch, including the loom. Keep in mind, as I said, this is the prototype, but, uh, you know, going forward into production, if he gets there, I would imagine it will be even better. This has been Don Evans for watchreport.com. Thank you to all of us, uh, all of you who follow us here at Watch Report, and I'll see you guys on the next video.